Hello everyone, welcome to Mad Lab Retro Realcon Season 3 Episode 17! Yeah! Woo-hoo! So, ladies and gentlemen, my good friend Mary is tagging along with his opening. Yo, with his reaction. What's up? what's up, guys? So, as you guys may know, I'm in Taipei right now, and we, well, you can say I'm in Taipei to attend an anime convention. You guys follow me on social media, you guys should already know that I'm in, Ta- I'm gonna need to attend a convention. You guys, like, I haven't attended a convention since December. So, since I'm in Taipei, I say might as well go to my friend's house and react to, you know, Railgun together. Some of you guys might have seen me before from other reactions. Kaguya sama. Uh, or from like the summer season preview. Yes, that too. Stuff like that. So, as you guys may know from the thumbnail, Mavery has never watched Railgun before. <laughs> well, well, yeah. I mean, I know of it. You, I, I know he of knows it. of it. Yeah. What do you know about it? Like, I love Fripside. I, I, there we go. I literally know all the opening songs and even and the ending songs. Anything by Fripside, I know about it. What's your favorite opening again? Um, Sister's Noise. Sister's yeah, Noise. Sister's there noise. we go. Or, so, or only my Railgun. It, it's hard to say. My favorite is actually, is so my favorite is actually Level 5 Judge Light. Yeah, we, we actually talked about this before. So, at least he knows something about Railgun. And, and BD, BD, BD. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, yeah, I mean, episode 17 is a random episode for him to check out. But anyhow, he after this episode, he may be interested in it. He will go and watch it in your own time. Yeah, I mean, we figured that since he's here anyways and he still needs to watch it, I yeah. might as well just tag along. Tag along with it, it. Rather than sit in the background. <laughs> I'm using his room, by the way, just so you guys know. So I didn't want to like leave him out. So just let him tag yeah, along. Just, just take a look at it. And of course, you guys enjoy some like non watcher and some fan watcher. So here, yeah, some fun time for some fun time. You guys can check out our review after this video too. So yeah, might as well check. Out, let's check get cracking with it, shall we? All right. So let's get right into it. Okay, so let's. Right. So we'll do a quick recap during the opening if they're gonna play, of course. So all right. Without further ado, here we go in three. Two, one, play. Yeah. Oh yeah, this little boy trying to save the world by creating this app to allow them to s- predict where the next crime scene will happen. Basically, predict crime. He he he's an, he has a power to predict events. I will allow you see the events in the future right. with the app. And he's trying to find Asperger that can utilize the app. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so she changed fate, right? She actually can basically allow you to change the fate of the situation. So it's almost like you can see the future and change stuff. Mm-hmm. That's his power. Mm-hmm. Yep. And he's basically finding someone. Actually, I think this is the girl whose skirt keeps on getting fit, yes, right? Yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, see, see, I, yes, the yes. Memes, <laughs> the memes write themselves. I don't need to watch it. Yes, there we go. He knows something. <laughs> Hmm, uses to make it easier to focus. Mm-hmm. I tell something we recorded or app yet. Oh, there we go. Power at work. Oh, ho, ho. so wow. Damn. He foresighted okay. something. Oh, huh. that's a quick Polaroid. I know, right? Go ahead and shoot the photo with the app. And then you had to use the app to take a picture of the photo and then wow, very complex powers. Here we go, go looking listen. Oh ho ho, there we go. Very useful indeed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And he bleeds from it too. Yeah. Opening wow. And hey, I know this one is dull existence, right? There we go. I mean, the first are awesome. I, I like although I have to say for myself that I like the opening, but it's not like one of my favorite though. <laughs> although I like the star of the song, Do Existence. You guys pretty much know it from my my opening reaction already from last week. <laughs> and then the song just like Oh, they kind of cut they cut a little part out of it. Yeah, they cut of course. Opening always cuts some part from the opening. Well, friend does back. Well, friend does like one of the. Well, I think she's like one of the villains back in season two, and then she, in the end, she helps support. It. Although I know many people f- while they watch the index season three, what happened to Frenda is that it's a tragic end to her, of course. Because well, how can I say she she nice lost hair. her life? <laughs> there we go. You know, the funny thing when I watched the the PV for the second half of the season three, I said that many of them are villains, but <laughs> well, dude. She's this girl scream villain. <laughs> Brenda. 
the villains for the se- second half. <laughs> yeah, Misaka, look at her go, man. Blast them! Boom! <laughs> iconic as well. The iconic Railgun iconic Blast. Iconic pose. Boom! <laughs> Yeah, not my favorite opening, but I, I like the song. What's this? Oh, okay. Oh, God. And this is the incident, isn't it? Yep, it's the incident. They need to save her. There we go. Very useful. Very useful indeed. You know Kuro, right? You mean the twin tail, yeah. yeah. In a nutshell, her power is like Nightcrawl from X Men, teleport without the the dust. And I know thing. there's someone like with a remote control, right? Yeah, Misaki. She's apparently a, now a fan favorite, including me. Mm-hmm. I'm also a fan favorite now. Hmm. Save victims ahead of time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and then oh what now oh my god really oh what's this oh my god love quarrel <sighs> oh god as if that's going to and then Kuro jumped really? in there we go <laughs> uh, yep, he's getting beat up yeah I know right <laughs> oh oh <laughs> Dude, what alligator? Really? <laughs> Some of these incidents is like random, too random. <laughs> yeah, her iconic needle stab. Why do I recognize her voice? Yeah, I recognize. Her I, I I know her voice actor, but I forgot her name though. She voices some very Sundera characters. Mm-hmm. Is it the same voice actress as a? Uh... Uh, no. Uh, uh, we'll look up later. Yeah. I, I remember looking at her character. I know her voice actor, but I forgot. Is it Beatrice's? Voice I think actor? it was Beatrice. Okay. Yeah, no wonder I recognized it too. I think it's Beatrice. Yeah, basically Kuro's the action. The boy is like the. Psychic and able to predict. Very good combo too. Oh. First aid cream. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, basic. Oh yeah, Kuro is basically kind of heartbroken right now because like what have, what Misa, uh, Misaka basically last episode um say something that broke her heart. <laughs> yeah. Well, not like broke her heart, but like shock her to the point that she didn't want to see her for a while. She, well, I, yeah, basically, judgments are like police of the city. So when the when the theme song is level five judgment, it's actually also referring. Yeah, to... yeah, that too. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh God. He's suffer- he does so the side effect of him using the power is that he'll be fatigued by it and well also blood coming out of his nose. <laughs> yeah, it seems like there's like a side effect to using his powers. Very useful power. Yeah, I think the boy should stop using it for a while. Yeah, he's feeling the side effect. Oh two. Two. Damn. Three minutes apart. Damn. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could be. Maybe the one will jump from the another one. <laughs> so yeah. But why are they trying to stop what's going to happen though? Um, you know, just typical Save the uh, Yeah, save the day situation. Okay. So the boy trying to be useful right now. Okay. But there's still more mystery to his character though. And just so you guys know, I never read that manga. It's a manga adaptation. Mm. Real gun. Index is a light novel. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, duh. I have read a bit of Index, though. I'm not a light like novel. Like three, three or four volumes of it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a light novel reader. Once I uh, like when I, once I start reading some texty stuff, I just got bored <laughs> immediately. Hey! Oh my God! No! It's the booby girl. <laughs> There we go. X-ray vision? Yeah, that's the powers. Mm -hmm. They're basically like one of the supporting organizations to uh, support Judgment team too. Mm -hmm. There we go, branches. Don't you think about it? I haven't seen her this season. <laughs> the booby girl. I like to call her the booby girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, man. They got help. Oh, yeah, by the way, where's my girl Misaka? I haven't seen her yet. <laughs> yeah, I was like, are we going to go for the entire episode of just these two? I think so. God. Like I said, this episode is a. I think from what I can see from the PV for today's episode, it's gonna be a dialogue heavy and this sub stuff. Two more hours. Please put on this. What's this? Oh! Communication device. Oh, no. Yep. GPS too. If only our world has such device like this. I mean, why don't you just say if only our world had the powers? Had espers and whatnot. I mean, there are like secret facilities somewhere in the world that <laughs> mutate. Okay. I'm experimenting on this. Area yeah. 51. <laughs> oh, it seems like spring already, too. October. What? October? Oh, this is October. Then this fall, then. Why is there sacred trees? Huh. Ah, oh, I see. <laughs> ah, ah. I see. Hmm. What's going on? Oh no. Dude, boy, stop predicting, man. You're gonna hurt yourself. Something big seems is gonna like happen. the park is like a. Yeah, the, like something. It seems like the park is oh. like. A, oh, here we go. Collapsed. He reaches limit. Pre not cognition. Yeah, he reaches limit. Red, oh damn! Red. Shit in hell. I'm so it seems like the more you use, the more it destroys blood cells. Oh god. Okay, so it's actually well documented. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, better not use his ability unless you don't want to die <laughs> of blood loss. Because you want to be useful. Maybe it's just more to yeah. There we go. Backstory time. Maybe the reason why he wanted to use his ability. Oh my god! So he's a bit. So apparently, been forced to use to help others. To like use for bullies. Uh, and then stuff bad stuff happened. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use it for help people, not use it for like other people's needs. Mm -hmm. Just let us know, I'm not a fan of dogs. <laughs> but I like seeing dogs, but not like a fan of it. Hmm, what happened here? Yeah. <laughs> wow, okay. Do something, like, what can you do? He's just a boy that predicts stuff. He's not like Kuro that jump to the scene and save you. So just oh, didn't he tell you to avoid that? <sighs> I mean, it could have been that she died, and instead she was just badly hurt. Hmm. Ah. Uh, I mean, he told you about it, so, so do something about it. But guess. This foresight is like two hundred percent, two like ninety percent true. I can't avoid it unless you have someone like Kuro that can jump to the scene and save them. I mean, he tried. He tried to tell them about it, but 
it, his powers are not 90% true. No. Oh, no, not the dog. Not the dog. Oh, God, what now? Cognition? Mm hmm. Oh, so many pre so many precognitions. Yep. What are you trying to do here? Tamper with the future. Depending on the ability. Exactly. And there where he led to Kuro. He he first created the app just to lure out people like Kuro and the team. Hmm. So the reason for making the app so they can find someone that can utilize his abilities. Wait, so he's doing this all for Pero? Um, most Pero, and then to save the day too. Be yeah, a, but I mean the the reason why he's doing yeah. It, ultimately, I mean Pero's not. Was Pero saved yet? I think so. No explosive. Oh, there we go. No, oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe that thing over there. Who put that there? Oh, uh oh, here we go. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what's the point of? Oh, yay! Okay. There we go. Mm hmm. Kuro abilities is like so efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was like, if this is just an ordinary fire, it's. Yeah, the tree is burnable. What is you say, please? So maybe the sucker tree is like the. Huh, so someone did this on purpose? Yes. You can really guess it from one stabbing the thing. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Purposely, but I thought that that may be an accident or something. No, I think it's fun. Purposely make a sacred tree a burnable sacred tree. Hmm. All right. To spread to create another great fire and stuff like that. Damn. All of them will become bombs. They're trying to make a great fire park, <laughs> Academy City, the great fire of Academy City. Oh no, Para was going to be at the park, yep, I think. That's why. <laughs> All to save a, a dog. All to save a dog. I'm pretty sure some... Yep, flammable. Ooh, Ooh explosives. Damn. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was me suck up for a second. Oh god. <laughs> it's like, please save Pero. Could you teleport me to the middle of a park to find Pero? Mm -hmm. It's almost like everything the boy get getting close contact leads to trouble. <laughs> That's what's causing him to feel bad yeah. about the situation. Yeah, I know, right? I mean, pets or friends, if you like, treat them well. <laughs> Check the satellite imagery. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Hell, 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 hell. Mm -hmm. Stray dog. I mean, dogs are important to people. There we go. X-ray! Okay. Oh, 
こうしてあるうん。Okay. Am I not blocking out right now? It's self centered. There it is. There it is. Hopefully, not very cliche, a tree fall down. Hmm. <laughs> that was the right thing to do. Come on, there we go. Oh, ho -ho. he threw those away. Don't worry, he's fine. There we go. What about the other girl? She she will survive. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. She mm. survives. Well, don't worry, boy. She's safe. She saved your doggy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Aww. Adorable. Okay, you did it. Congratulations. Mm-hmm. You quite don't look at me. <laughs> Aww, what <a> soon there? <laughs> and October the fifth. <laughs> Oh, so it yeah, was. So it was oh, an so it was an accident. I mean, like if if the uh, if the vending machine didn't actually yeah. short circuit, it wouldn't have happened. Yeah, I know, right? She they were just trying out. Yeah. Damn, I thought for a second it was like some villain group that like to cause trouble. Indian poker. Indian poker. Oh, Indian poker, the dream thing. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the girl is finally acknowledging her mistake. Mm -hmm. Now she would? Yep. Mm -hmm. I can still see him. Mm -hmm. Oh, how adorable. It's such a very wholesome episode, I say. Mm -hmm. Like honestly, precognition should be an OP power. I know, right? Although usually that power, you need to have another secondary power to it. I know there's one show that has that sort of power. See the future and do something about it, but I forgot what it's called. Mm -hmm. Hey, Kuro! Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean I what? Aw Ah yes, of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I was a child at that time. <laughs> she wanted to be like that. <laughs> oh, hey, there we go. There we so go. This episode was just focused on. It's just a very wholesome episode. You get to see the boy and a girl in work. You can skip the ending. Alright. Wait, wait, wait. I think there's a huge. No, skip the ending. I mean, uh, we can just jump to the end yeah. there. All right. So, see you guys after this. Okay, so Mavery, what do you think of the episode so far? As a person who never watched Railgun before. <laughs> I mean, it was... I think it's pretty much as I expected, only... But this episode, I think, was kind of... Um, actually, disappointing that it was focused on the other two characters, right? I mean, uh, yeah, I, I know you want to ch check out Misaka, too. Like, I know there's, a, like, a main um, cast, right? Yes. There's, like, four... Five girls, right? Four girls. Four girls that are, like, the main... Yeah, but I think this episode is mostly just to see how Kuro and Kazari go about to help out the boy with his problem, with his 
issue. But basically, he wants yeah. to find some people to able to utilize his power, his yeah, advantage. Yeah, yeah. And well, basically, this episode we for the first half of it, we get to see the fact that he's just trying to be useful, showing them the incidents around the town, and just right. go around saving them. And although I feel like there is more to the boy's story other than a school he's trying to help, but then yeah, you know, like this sort of seemed like a one off. I'm not really sure. Like even just coming into jumping into this at the middle, I don't see how it relates with the entirety of the story it uh, seems like just a, a daily life like an, one episode kind of may, maybe this episode is just like a wholesome episode just to see okay. how it goes oh i mean we we are we are on the second episode of the new arc already the dreamers arc last episode was the start of a new arc and this, oh, so we haven't ended the arc yet no yet. this is the second episode of the arc oh, the okay. whole the from episode 16 to episode 24 will be dreamers arc and so yeah, I mean, last episode we get to see an idea what the arc is going to be about, them going to a dream world and do this and that. And But this episode is mostly get to see another something that's unrelated to the dream world in some ways. Like we get to see a new Asper trying to help out the town. Kuro just babysit him basically. Right, right. And well, of, of course, you know, every power has a side effect to it. And the boy's side effect is apparently am- amnesia. How do you pronounce the word? Amnesia? Blood loss from u- overusing the powers. Right, right. And so... Well, obviously, he he knows how contr- he now taking advice from Kuro not to overuse it. So he's gonna be useful in the future, and Kuro gonna be there for him. Yeah, recognition is a really useful, you, ability, very useful so. ability. But you need like a secondary power yeah. to back it up. Like, not you can see the future, but can you do something about it? You need to have a second. Like, he would be a valuable asset yes. to any sort of organization. So next episode, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna join the Judgment uh, team. <laughs> And next episode, hopefully, we're going to get to see Misaka okay. again. But this episode, for any Kuro fans, they will love this episode. So I finally know what the Judgment is actually talking about. It's basically a disciplinary committee. Yes. But they just call it Judgment. I mean, I it's, it's a fancy okay. name. It's a yeah. fancy name. Yeah. But, judgment. Judgment. But this, I think this episode is mostly just a wholesome episode, though. Yeah, but I'm, I, can I, I can maybe next episode can you know have some related stuff to it. Maybe the boy talking about more about the boy to Misaka. Because Misaka haven't met the boy yet. So mm-hmm. when Misaka comes by, he's like, who's this boy? And Kuro goes through it and say oh okay and hopefully next episode we may see the villains for the series by the way who was the person that Kuro was saying she looked up to could um the, the champion of justice um i mean it could be misaka or is it could, misaka or is it the guy from index maybe i need to double check that with, uh, again but if you guys know just comment below i guess right. my memory around season one and two is still kind of fancy. Because, right. I mean, I watched season 1 and 2, don't get me wrong, but I I watched it back in 2014. It's <laughs> been like 6 years, and I didn't actually properly re-watch season 1 and 2 before season 3, so... Yeah, but anyhow, but it's a very wholesome episode, Kuro Focus, and it's a very good episode indeed. So, okay. yeah, you enjoyed it, so... One day, he'll pick up Real Gun, don't worry guys. Yeah, I do want to watch it sometime, it's just... It's the funny thing is, originally I was going to watch it, but then I thought, huh, maybe I should finish a certain magical index first, and then watch a certain scientific railgun. So Rail- that's why I did not watch. Railgun is more popular than index. Well, like no, like people, light novel wise, index is, is, is more, more popular. popular yeah. But in rail, in series wise, railgun is more popular. Yeah, so originally I was thinking, all right, I'll finish index first, and then I'll get to railgun. But then I never finished index, <laughs> so I never got to railgun. So I mean, rail, now you see how much railgun is like, and can just check yeah. out then. So that's it for today, guys. So hope you guys are looking forward to next week reaction. But yeah, next week we won't see him again. <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, I'll be back doing the individual reaction. So yeah, this is a one-off twin reaction. Yeah, and I mean, if you guys do want to check out my other stuff. Oh yeah, make sure you guys check out yeah, his channel too. Feel free. He's, I am a reactor as he's well. He's a reactor and he's he focuses a lot on, re- on the reviews. Yeah, section. I'm more like, I like to talk more after, like during this sort of yeah. session where yeah. I talk through the episode and yep. whatnot. But um, yeah, I'm not doing Railgun, but hey, since oh, we, cool. we met because yeah. we are Good both friends. reactors. And, and we know each other since 2018, actually. Yeah. It's been a while, though. All right. <laughs> so yeah, that's it for today. So I hope you guys are looking forward to the next week reaction. Or oh, she has the next reaction coming out later soon. And I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.